Hey guys, today we're going to be working on the E30. We're going to be flushing the rear differential fluid. It's a cheat mod you can do yourself in uh, about 30 minutes or so. And it'll make a big difference if you've never flushed it before. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to drive the car around. Make sure you get the oil nice and hot and then give it a few minutes to cool down. For more information on this, you can refer to your service manual. I'm using conventional 80 weight 90 oil. But you can use whichever oil you want. If you want synthetic or conventional, it's up to you. All the tools I use will be listed below in the description, so make sure you read that before you start uh, this this process. All right. So the first thing you notice is that these are on really tight. So you're gonna need to use a breaker bar, and you always want to remove the filler plug before the drain plug. You'd never want to drain your oil and then find out that you can't get the the fill plug off. Um, so you always do the fill plug first. Alright, so once you got them both loose, get your pan ready to catch your oil. And uh, this stuff stinks, so you might want to walk away while this is draining. As you can see here, my rear differential is way overdue for some new oil, so it was about time I got this flushed. Alright, so at this point you should inspect your washers on your filler and drain plugs. And if they look like they need replacing, then just go ahead and replace them. In some cases, you can you can reuse them if they're not too bad. Uh, but you can always just replace them. It's a cheap replacement to do the washers. But if they look like they can be reused, then you can just clean them up and uh, reuse them again. Alright, so once you have the drain plug back in and torque to spec according to the service manual, it should be around 40 foot pounds. Uh, then you're ready to start pumping the new oil in through the top. Alright, so this is pretty straightforward. You just pump until the oil starts coming out the top. According to the service manual, it should be about one and a half quarts. But one way to know is just pump until it starts leaking out the top, and then you know you have enough. So at this point you just clean the, the stranding area and you can put the, the filler plug back in. Just make sure you clean it up before you put it in place. Alright, so at this point you're ready to torque it down. 
the service manual says you should torque it around 40 foot pounds so that's what you need to do just torque it down and that's all there is to it it's pretty simple and you can get it done within 30 minutes or so so if you found this video helpful go ahead and hit the like button or better yet subscribe and I'll make sure I keep these videos coming once again thanks for watching